Welcome back to my channel for a new video and today I have a autumn haul for you. So I did a huge wardrobe clear out last month. I got rid of so many things that didn't fit me anymore, that I wasn't reaching for, wasn't styling and when I do that I pop it all in my vintage and I sell it and then I keep the money aside and then I buy new pieces for the new season. So as you can see on the rail behind me I have some really lovely pieces to share with you today. I have some knitwear, some bottles, and of course my favorite piece for the autumn some outerwear so yeah let's get into my autumn haul so I'm gonna start off with some knitwear I've been really enjoying styling cardigans at the moment and this one is from a naked fashion it's so soft so cozy and my discount code is valid for them again so I'll link it on the screen for you now it'll give you 30% off for new naked customers existing still get 20% off and this code is only valid for a week so of course everything I'm showing you in today's video will be linked down below for you in the description box but I got this cardigan in a size small it's super cozy I've styled it really casually and I was missing a neutral cardigan in my wardrobe and this is gonna be so cozy to wrap up in when it gets colder and just snuggle down at home then next I have a trench coat to share with you so I've been loving my long linen trench coat which you've seen on my other videos from Naked. They do such good trenches. I had a really nice one from last season which is more of like a rusty colour but I really wanted to experiment in styling the colour chocolate brown. Chocolate brown always comes like in fashion um, especially during the autumn time but I love the tone of it so I thought I want to experiment with some chocolate brown pieces in my wardrobe and I got this one and yeah it's such a nice shade. Amazing quality as well it's got a load of fluff on it now from that cardigan but I really like this chocolate shade I think it'll go with so much in my wardrobe I can wear with black trousers I can even style with some jeans as well it's a really nice length I got this in a size 36 I would say it's very true to size I always get a size 36 in my Nike trenches I know my linen one I got the size extra small small because it was very oversized and it had shoulder pads in but this doesn't have any shoulder pads or anything it just hangs really nicely then I have two jumpers to share with you so you've seen this one already on my Instagram and I think on one of my other videos but it's such a good dupe for the totem jumper they do it in this colorway and they do it in the black colorway but I spotted it in the gray colorway as well so I absolutely love styling the color gray in the autumn winter season I wore it so much last year and as soon as I saw this knitwear in the gray version I thought okay I'm gonna get that sold with some trainers with my white trousers or even do like an all nice gray look maybe like with some dark gray trousers and do a nice tonal look so I got both of these in a size small medium I also really love the sleeves as well it has like a slit detail on both of the sleeves which makes it look a bit more premium a bit more expensive and yeah I thought I'm gonna get it in the grey colourway too because I love this one so much then I have some basics to share with you so I need to get some like long sleeve tops but I wanted to get some nice square neckline pieces just to wear underneath blazers just so it's a change from wearing from my t-shirts but I've also been styling on my car cardigans and my tweed jackets and I feel like a nice little square neckline vest top or long sleeve works really well underneath them it also adds a bit more of a dressier feel to the outfit and I can take them into like an evening wardrobe so the first one is this one it's just a long sleeve jersey basic also from naked it's slightly ribbed as well but I really like how a square neckline looks it looks super elevated I just started with some white trousers kept it super simple and they do this in other colors then I have these two little vest tops so as you can see these also have a square neckline it's also also slightly cropped too so I picked up this black one I also picked it up in the cream colour so I got both of these in a size small but I feel like I could have maybe gone to a medium they fit really nice and they're super fitted but I don't like things to be too tight on me maybe I was just wearing the wrong bra underneath but I feel like these were a little bit on the snugger size if you don't like anything that's too tight then I would recommend sizing up in these so I'm going to maybe order a medium one and just see how they fit but sometimes I like to have like a really smooth like top especially when it's tucked into like a skirt or a pair of trousers so I'm going to experiment with the two sizes then next I have the perfect pair of white trousers to share with you so I thought I would upgrade my other naked ones because I've worn them so much I've had them for nearly two years now and I've worn them on repeat for literally all seasons and they're getting super tatty now and what I love about these trousers is that you can get 
get them in petite, regular and tall too. Not many brands do that, but Abercrombie do. So I got the size 27 regular and honestly, they are perfect on my waist. They are the perfect length and I'm so happy with the fit of these trousers. Definitely worth the investment because the material on these are different. So as you can see, they're more of like a crepe material. My other black trousers are more like a thicker material and these just hang a bit more flowy and they just look so nice on like honestly as soon as I tried them on I was like oh my god these are the best fitting white trousers I've ever had in my wardrobe and definitely worth upgrading them so I got these in a size 27 and these are the regular leg then next I have this little striped satin shirt which is from H&M so I'm planning to do some like workwear styling videos so I thought I'd buy some satin shirts because they look so nice style so with workwear trousers you can dress them up dress them down and I think this colorway is really nice as well you guys know I love my stripes but I especially love the contrast detail of the collar so I love that the collar is plain it's also the same on the cuffs too and I got this in a size small and I think it was only $18.99 a really great price but it looks and feels really premium as well because the satin is super soft then next I picked up this little ribbed top so this is also from H&M and I really love these style tops especially the neckline as well they look so premium a lovely style with wider trousers you can dress them up or dress them down i want to add some more pieces like this in my wardrobe just to wear underneath my blazers to look a little bit more dressier i don't really have a evening wardrobe but i feel like i need to start adding little pieces like these like really good little basic tops just sort of elevate looks i think the sweetheart neckline looks so nice style for date night you can wear it with a skirt with some trousers looks nice underneath the blazer i also do this in other colors as well and i got a size small then next i have this gorgeous cardigan to share with you so you follow me over on my Instagram and my LTK, you would have seen me sharing this. I missed out on the H&M one last year and I spotted this, I never checked out so quickly. So I ordered it in a size small, but I feel like I maybe should have gone to a medium as I found this one quite snug on my arms. I like my cardigans to sort of feel a bit loose and I hate things feeling tight on me. Hence why I always go for like oversized things. The small still looks fine, but it has sold out now. So I'm gonna hold on to this to see if the mediums do come back in stock or I might take it to my local store and see if they have the medium in stock and just try it on. But I love the quality of this and the buttons are so nice down the front, literally so lovely. Then I have another cardigan to share with you. So I ordered this one off H&M, but it's from Monkey. And it's a really nice oversized gray cardigan. I just love how these look. These are all over Pinterest as well. If you go on Pinterest, just type in cardigan outfits for autumn. They're all gray cardigans. They're look so nice with jeans like with your trainers i think that's great to throw on as well and this one is really nice it's definitely more of a oversized fit so i got this in a size small it's super oversized which i like but if you don't like the sort of things being too big then i do recommend sizing down to the extra small in this so this is from monkey it was 39.99 i just love the gray tone of it and also the buttons and the pockets as well then following on from the chocolate brown trend i have this shirt to share with you it's from what the brand and I really love the colour of it I'm not sure if you'll see on the camera but it's definitely more of a darker chocolate brown and the quality of it is amazing I really love the quality and the fit of their pieces I had a really nice striped shirt from them in the springtime and I spotted this in their new collection and I had to have it for the autumn season then I also have this jacket which is also from what the brand so the grey bomber jacket was a huge thing last year because of the Zara one everyone went wild for that jacket as well as the leather cropped one I feel like whenever I go to London and I always see so many people in the Zara Grey jacket and the leather jacket, but I really love this one from What The Brand. It's a bit lighter than the Zara one, but the fit's really nice too. I ended up sizing up in this to a medium, so it felt a little bit more oversized, but the quality is amazing. I love that it's like a light grey too. I just love styling grey. In the autumn season, I'm looking forward to styling this one casually. Then next I have this black bomber jacket which is from River Island. So I included this in my autumn capsule wardrobe video. If you've not seen that, I'll link it just above for you. But I really wanted the Zara black bomber jacket, but after trying it on in store, I didn't like how it sat on me. The shoulder pads were too big, really bulky and really pointy as well. They just sat really weird on my body shape. So since trying that on, I really wanted to get a little black bomber jacket to style casually, to dress up. And they also look great styled for the evening too. And this one for Island is better quality than the Zara one it's also cheaper as well so I got this in a size 8 
found it very true to size. I love how it fits. They also do it in the beige version as well. I'm just hoping they do it in a white or a cream. So then I've got the black and the cream one because I love the cream Zara one from last year. Then I have another little black jacket to share with you. Again, I included this on my capsule wardrobe video, but it's from Marks and Spencers and it's a beautiful tweed jacket. I just love the quality of Marks and Spencers pieces and this jacket is so good. I love the gold buttons down the front. It's a bit more expensive from Marks and Spencers. So this was 75 pounds, but you definitely get what you pay for when it comes to Marks and Spencers. I just love the fit of this. I got this in a size 10. It's a little crop jacket, it looks super nice on very crazy and it definitely gives that old money aesthetic as well then next I have a jacket that I'm so excited to start styling and wearing because I wore my and the stories wrap coat so much last year in the grey and I really wanted a shorter version like a crop jacket to wear which was grey and I saw this on cars and it has unfortunately sold out online but I picked it up in London last week I ended up getting it in the size medium so I did try on the size small in the Birmingham store but I felt like it wasn't like boxy enough for me I also wanted to layer underneath as well and it does get colder but I love how this fits on me and they also do it in black and now and this one was more expensive of course you do get what you pay for when you buy from cos2 it was 130 pounds but it's so nice it's wool and i know i'll wear it loads then i have another amazing find from marks and spencers to share with you how beautiful is this jacket and what i love about it as well is that it's reversible so on the other side it has this gorgeous suede fabric just looks so nice so it's basically two jackets in one i say true to size and this is actually from Pauna. i'm sure it's marks and spencer's brand i know they have that many different brands on there but i'm sure they have like autograph is their brand and yeah quite a few others and i think Pauna is part of them but yeah i love this super super soft and cozy it's a really nice shade of beige as well it's not like too brown it's not too tan i've mentioned before on my other videos when i wear jackets which are more like really like tan and camel i can't describe it it's like when they have like an orangey undertone it just doesn't sit well on my skin tone but i just love this and i cannot wait to wear it then the last piece i have is an amazing dupe for the totem jacket how beautiful is this i can't believe how nice this is so it's from reserved i've never actually bought anything from them before i've been in the london store a couple of times but i've never really seen anything i feel like it's like a sister brand of zara or something it's very much similar to zara and i saw this jacket on tiktok and yeah i ordered it straight away i hope they do it in the black as well because it's such a good dupe for the totem scarf coat but obviously it comes without the scarf and yeah just look at the quality and look at the stitching like i feel like this is actually nicer quality and softer than the totem one and it's also a wool blend as well so i got this in the size medium i thought i would size up in this to have that sort of oversized style because i love how the scarf coat looks it's super big super cozy and yeah, the quality is gorgeous. I'm so excited to wear this. I feel like it's gonna have sold out so quickly as well. Then to finish off, I have a new pair of trainers to share with you. So if you follow me, over on my Instagram, you'll know I've been loving styling my Adidas Samba. So I thought I would get them in the black colorway. So I always wear like white trainers and my Converse, but also my Converse do have that chunky sole on the front. And I really love how the Sambas look because they're very slim. So I thought I'd get myself a pair of the black Sambas so they look like a pair of black slim trainers and they're honestly so cool they constantly keep coming in and out of stock so i always link as many like links as possible on my ltk so make sure you do follow me on there because as soon as they restock i always try and share it on my instagram so these are the black colorway ones they're literally so cool i love the chocolate brown sole as well which is perfect for the chocolate brown trend and yeah they're just super comfy absolutely love them and i always say true to size in these but i think it's because i have narrow feet so russ actually ordered himself a pair of men's sambas in the white colorway and he had to return them because russ has really really wide feet i even said to him maybe try sizing up but he just thought now they're not going to fit me they're not going to suit me my feet are too wide i think it's because he's worn trainers for so long but working at the gym that his feet are just naturally like really spread and these are definitely more of like a slim trainer so if you are wider footed then i would recommend sizing up in these but i'm narrow footed and i always say true to size and i got a size six so that is the end of my new in autumn haul i hope you guys have liked everything that i've showed 
showed you in today's video. I'll also reshare my Nike code back on the screen for you, which will give you 30% off for new Nike customers and 20% off for existing for one week only. And like I already said, everything that I've shown you in today's video will be linked down below for you in the description box. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. If you have, then please don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video.